Hej. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Welcome back to Rusty Nuts Media. Today, we're working on Project Gooch again. In the last video, we finished up the engine bay, painting the whole front end of the car. Uh, we got Cody here. He's going to help us. Uh, what we're doing is getting the brake booster put back in. We're going to get the... Uh, to do the brake line tuck, we're going to get the... To do the brake line tuck, we're going to get the bulkhead fittings put in the firewall before we stick the motor back in. We're going to get the suspension hooked back up. Uh, we're going to get the engine bay ready for the engine to go back in today. So before we put the engine back in, we're going to be cleaning it up really good, making sure it's got everything on it that needs to be on it. And then we're going to be cleaning up the motor mounts really good, make sure everything's really clean before we put it back in. And uh, as we go along, we'll be showing you the plans for the wire tuck and all that kind of stuff. So stick around, we'll be back in just a minute. All right, here we go again. Uh, we got a couple parts out here that we've painted. Um, they had a little bit of rust, a couple of scratches in them. We got the motor cleaned up. It's just sitting there drying now. We've got the dash pulled back out of the car so we can get behind it to a couple of bolts on the firewall and start the wiring process. So we've got a couple things laid out. We're making some good progress. We're just seeing how far we can get today. Um, so we'll check up with you in just another minute. All right, I wanted to show you all something that I'm gonna try to do. Um, looking at the pulleys on the caliber motor, you've got your power steering pump, your upper idler, lower idler, your tensioner, um, alternator, the AC went down here, the crank and the water pump. <clears throat> so we removed the AC pulley. So instead of coming off of here, going around it and over that, you would just come off this around that and here. Now we're also removing the power steering, which the belt comes from the water pump under this idler pulley around and then around this around there. So what we're gonna try to do instead is replace this pulley. So this will be gone. We're gonna replace that pulley, which is smooth because it gets the back of the belt. We're gonna replace it with a ribbed pulley right here. So it's gonna come from the water pump. We're gonna shave a little bit of this corner off right here of this motor mount. The, the bolt will still go through, but it just it'll just shave that corner off right there. We're gonna replace it with this, so it'll just come off of that go straight to the alternator and around. So that's what we're gonna try to do next. This is just mocked up for now to see how much we have to shave off of this. And then this bracket right here, we're gonna cut the top of it off and just delete this whole power steering pump and everything. But you have to keep this bracket because it bolts, it gets this, uh, the alternator bolts to it. And I think uh, the tensioner also bolts to it. So we're gonna see what we can do with that. This should be kind of interesting. It's. I know uh, for the, I believe it's the Evos, they sell a bracket that just bolts here so you can put all this stuff on and it also just puts a, basically a large idler pulley right here with no pumps. So you can basically delete this but still have a pulley there so you don't have to do this. I'm just gonna delete that whole thing, put this ribbed pulley on there and see what we can do with that.
Cody's gonna be a belt for a minute. Run it back and forth. It just barely clears. We have cleared the motor mount. Oh yeah. So it's clear, barely. I think that'll work. I know I'm gonna get some naysayers, but. Whew. Okay, we're gonna kinda pull a late night one tonight just to get the motor in. So where we're at, we've got the, uh, the heat shield back over the power steering rack. Uh, the steering rack, we've got the rear motor mount set in. It's not fully tightened, it's just hand tight right now. We got the brake booster, the master cylinder back on, slave cylinder, all that's ready to go. Uh, before we stuck the motor in, we drilled these two holes right here. Those are for the bulkhead fittings for the brake lines. Um, so we can do our brake tuck with that. Bugs! Is that what that dance is called? Yeah. Bugs? Okay. Cody's doing the buggy. Um, so, yeah, I'm about to do the buggy too. Um, so we're going to try to get this motor in real quick. We'll probably just do a time lapse of us throwing it in there. And then... Uh, I'll kind of probably close out of this video. We're just gonna make sure we get the motor in tonight, so. Cody, we did it. Finally got it. We did it. Guys, we did it. Boom. There she is. Look at all the bugs in here, man. Do the buggy. <laughs> all the motor mounts are on. All the bolts are in. This motor is locked in place and ready to go. So, the next couple videos We'll be adding everything in, slowly getting everything in this engine bay, and then the fun part begins with this big box of wires right here. You ready for that? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's coming, yeah. so get ready for it. All right, guys, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel to see more stuff. Like this video, leave a comment down below, and we will see you in the next video. Say bye, Cody. See ya. Bye. Bye.